Once I was afraid, I was petrified, but now I'm in the Natural History Museum. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thank you to the great butler for that wonderful catchphrase submission. The great butler. Either putting on airs or accurate. Who knows? But uh, uh, very good at buttling, uh, one would imagine. Uh, Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another edition. And of course, boy... One has to agree, and it certainly cannot be disputed, that we are deep in the throes of April at this point. I mean, we are so deep in April. Uh, And April, of course, the funniest month. (laughs) And uh, this is no exception. We have uh, some real April fools here that we're uh, speaking to. Yeah, I apologize. (laughs) It gets better from here, right? Uh, No, it's a downward spiral from here. Like, I peaked. I have already peaked. Mm-hmm. Um, we have some guests here, and they have never been on the show. We love newcomers uh, because why talk to people that you've already talked to? You know what I mean? Like, why not every single day say anyone else that I've ever spoken to? I'm never going to speak to them again. That's how I like to live my life, mm-hmm. and that's uh, this show certainly uh, will reflect that because I will. I have not spoken to any of these five people on the show ever before, uh, which is quite a feat. And uh, I plan to never speak to them after. We don't today. plan to speak to you ever again either. Re- you mean <laughs> from this? We're going to go out to lunch, but we probably won't speak to you after this. Jane, you're giving away that this is pre-lunch. Mm, oh, I don't like to, I don't like to let the listener... Alert. The time and space type of this thing. This is theater of the mind. I mm-hmm. like people to imagine it whenever they mm-hmm. want to imagine it. Gotcha. Uh, they are uh, the... Stars. Uh, stars, certainly. Uh, perhaps co-creator yeah, over yeah, there. there. Getting, Co-creators. Yeah, yeah. All of that. Keep going. Uh, keep going co-writer, there. one certainly. Keep going, babe. Yeah. Uh, executive All producers. Yeah. I don't, you know. Me. That's, That's me. you. That's I'm you. I'm actually the pretty face. Okay. So Clear. they're also pretty. They're attractive. They have symmetrical faces, all of them. Mm-hmm. They, uh, you Are we know. <laughs> I believe we may be. Uh, of a, a little show on Amazon called Dropping the Soap, uh, which premiered actually recently, and uh, mm-hmm. all episodes available, 10 episodes, I believe, on Correct. online right now. You can get them through your Amazon Prime. You can actually go to uh, iTunes, I believe, and mm-hmm. buy them if you mm-hmm. want. If you're some sort of rich money bags, it just has like Absolutely. $1.99 to toss around on on you know mm-hmm. episodes of television. God bless you. Go for it. Mm. Uh, please welcome to the show Jane Lynch, Kate Hi. Mines, and Paul Witten. Hello, guys. Hello. Yes. Hello. Thank you for having us, my friend. How are you? Good. It's so it's a pleasure to have you all on the show. Uh, and now I, I, I this is fascinating to me. I asked you pre the show. Uh, let me just pull back the curtain here for the listeners. <laughs> a lot of times I'm forced to speak to our guests before we. As they say in the biz, roll tape. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I had a little bit of small talk that I was engaging in with everyone, and I said, hey, how did you guys meet? And Jane, it was almost as if we were getting into a car accident, and she she put the straight arm (laughs) Mm -hmm. for me not to go forward anymore. She said, save it for the show. Save it for the show. It's a riveting story. So let's get into it. Mm Mm-hmm. Meet and greet. Meet cute. How did it happen? Was it the three of you simultaneously? No. Was it like you bonked heads and no? Mm-hmm. It was it was individual. Yeah. Well, the longer well, I'll start. Uh, I ran into Paul at a um a beauty supply store and he helped me choose a shampoo. Paul, how did you meet Kate? <laughs> That's a true story, by the way. <laughs> that is a true story. <laughs> Wait, we got to break this down. Okay, he Paul helped. Paul Witten, Twitter and Instagram, <laughs> W-I-T-T-E-N. First of all, Paul, were you, you weren't uh, working at the store, were Maybe you? I was. Maybe he was, <laughs> maybe, maybe he wasn't. You who's know, to say? Who's to say? Who's to say what working is? Was it a mystery to you as to whether he was employed by the store, or was he just a it rando? It was, because he started to read, like, in, a, in an interpretive fashion, the directions. He said, rinse with abundance. Oh. And I fell in love with him, and I decided wow. this, is, this man's going to be in my life. Fantastic. Yeah, and what was the shampoo? Mm-hmm. Uh, God, I don't remember. I don't remember those details. You know, I just Oh, you're more how, of a macro. More you're macro. And sure. when I'm standing looking at Jane Lynch and we're making loving eyes at each other, I'm not remembering Timeless. the shampoo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me guess. Head yeah. and shoulders? It was some kind of blue Malva shampoo that was for yeah, blondes. It was, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the blue stuff. stuff? Yeah. yeah, the purpley stuff. That, 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, did you? Re- well, you're a blonde now. Blonde Kate Mines is actually a blonde now. She's really um a little Jew with dark hair, and she's right. trying to. She I'm de- Jew I'm not trying. She's trying to be a big Norwegian like yeah, me. With quite sure we're supposed to call people little Jews anymore. <laughs> that's right, that's oh, what I call small Jews. <laughs> okay, that's much I'm better. A micro yes. Of the okay. Yeah, we've moved past little person. Mm-hmm. Oh, we yeah. haven't even talked to Kate yet. Let's get into. Yeah, Kate. Let's get into how did. Okay, now you you know obviously we've seen how these two have met and we've heard it as well. I mean, mm-hmm. I got to see it because they reenacted it in front yes, of me. Great right. space work, by Thank the way. Thank you so much. You. But now, Kate, what happened with you uh, between the two of these people? I wish it was an exciting story. It's also equally sort of anticlimactic. We did. A Kate, I'm going to ask you to speak oh, into sorry. this long cylindrical issue in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> can't reach the mic. Stand up. So uh, tiny. Uh, Jump up to it. No, um, so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I get a stool? No, uh, we met at doing a... A reading of a play, right? Isn't that how we met? Well, it was a workshop. a workshop. Was it like our oh town? Oh my God, I'm so bored. Yeah, yeah. no, it's boring. <laughs> yeah, that was really boring. No, you I don't mean the was play. the was it reading town? of the play like our town. I mean, was the actual play our town? No. No, it was not. It no. was a new play that kind of we never went of anywhere. Mm. But we became fast friends and everyone was like, you guys have such a great chemistry. You should do something. Mm-hmm. And back then... <laughs> and making love wasn't an option no. because right. I'm a homosexual. Yeah, he's a homosexual. You are. <laughs> so, and I'm a married yeah, woman. So. Although I wasn't married at the time. Right. Are you I mean, a little Jew as well? No. Or how dare he's you? neither he's, little he's nor a huge Dane. He's a Danish boy. great Dane. Mm. That's great Dane. 100% like purebred, which means there's a lot fucking wrong with me. Yeah. Wow. You, you have the cheekbones of a Dane, I have to say. I'm sorry, He's what? He's got the dick of a Dane. Oh, can we curse on here? Uh, <laughs> oh. I mean, what do you want to say? Let's run through it. <laughs> well, I just said dick. Sure, but what other I, words? Oh, well, well, shit, said. asshole. Okay, what else you got? Dick sucker, <laughs> cocksucker. Mm-hmm. What is, uh, is there a difference between a dick sucker and a cocksucker? No, just yeah. two different words. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Ask the homo. Yeah, yeah. Ask the homo, Actually, really. Actually. Oh, by the way, this is a, a little segment on the show we call Ask the Homo. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Great. Is there a difference? Yes, it's enthusiasm levels. <laughs> oh, I agree. It's like pre-marriage, post-marriage. <laughs> Did you say you were married at the time? I, is that? No, actually, I, I was not married at the time. I'm married now. You're married now. And who, uh, to whom are you married? A little, another little Jew, right? No, he's not Jewish. Oh, okay, but he's mm. a little. He's, oh, no, he's like fire he's, crotchy. He's uh, <laughs> he's got a red okay, beard. Is this guy a leprechaun? <laughs> kind Pretty of, much. actually. Yeah, right, right. His name's TJ Marchbank. He's got a red beard. Mm. And, uh, I won't and he's tell you a pirate. Downstairs. Yeah. He's amazing. And how did you meet him? I'm just. Uh, I'm only we interested play, in meetings. <laughs> <laughs> that we actually met doing a, another play that was not a great play, but mm-hmm. we Hamilton. It was, uh, <laughs> God, what a bust that is. No, uh, it was. Sp- uh, terrible, and so we all got along great. We like went out and had drinks until like three in the morning every night. Because how long did you do this play? play. Uh, it felt like four years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, eight weeks or whatever. It, actually, the lead got fired halfway through at about two o'clock in the morning, and we had these like clandestine rehearsals. Someone's either snorting yeah, or snoring. My, my story is too long. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm digging it. I really yeah. love it. So I, we the were, backstage uh, of the theater that you know you got uh, you know Macbeth. People not supposed to say it. Like yeah. I love all those stories. Mm-hmm. Really? Well, that's what happened. <laughs> we banged all over that theater. Yeah. <laughs> you so, did too. I'd so hear okay, so I, I get a good picture of how you guys met, and then I'm gonna turn to my left a little bit, and there's two of you. How yeah. did you meet? What do I mean? You know, I we just, just learned today. her name. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, we we met through Paul. But Mm. they were working on dropping the soap before I came on board. How does that mean? You were working on it, meaning you were writing well, the script? You yeah, were... we had, we had uh, decided we wanted to work together, as Kate said earlier, and we looped in another friend of ours, Mandy Fabian, to help write the pilot, and we dove in, and Jane then saw some of the original stuff that we had shot a few years ago. Oh, right. So does like, this new, does the series as I watched it, doesn't contain old no, footage? No, 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 so no, it's no, all no. reshot. And, so yeah. it's, like, it's almost like Gus Van Sant's Psycho. It's exactly like okay, Gus great. Manson. We kind of yes, exactly in tone, right? <laughs> and, um, and in the, what the you were trying to shot. achieve, yeah, and exactly. how successfully we mean at. not at all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> but but yeah, we had originally shot some shot some stuff, which was you know like I have a barn, I have a tuba, let's get together and do stuff. <laughs> so it was on a much smaller scale, like you know, it still $5. looked really mm-hmm. good though. It was yeah. very impressive. Yeah. Fans yeah, of well, barns and tubas, by the way, their ears mm-hmm. right, just picked up. up. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, but all the stuff that we have now is reshot, and that was once we got Jane involved, where someone actually said, "Let's fund this. Let's." Mm-hmm. Who's eating the? Mi- oh, okay. It was me. I'm sorry. I'm not <laughs> chewing I mean, into the mic. <laughs> we were like I came here away hungry, from and all posting. they had were stale Cheerios. <laughs> and so Kate Mines uh, had a bunch of food in her. Um, yeah. What is it? What is that? Some sort of trail mix. Trail mix the How are you trail mix enjoying it, Jane? Jane? Great. It's got M and M's in it, which is the best. Yeah. M and M's are the unsung hero of the trail mix. Mm-hmm. They really are. Without them, they're just. It's just, just like, yeah, it's just nuts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
It's just nuts. Speaking mm-hmm. of just nuts, yeah. this show is, is just nuts. It, yes, oh. it is. It is. It it's is really bonkers. funny. If, Let's yeah. talk about it a little bit. Dropping the soap. Mm. Uh, the title. Yes. Uh, uh, hilarious. Hilarious. Say we always say it all the time. Dropping mm-hmm. the soap, dropping the soap. Mm-hmm. But what does it mean when it comes to this show? Because I believe it has a, I believe it maybe doesn't even have a dual meaning. How's that sip, by the way? It's is that great. Good? Did you hear that too? I'm <laughs> sipping water. Sorry about that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm not sure. That one I'm not sure about. (laughs) Shane doesn't do many interviews, so she's... Um, now the title, uh, the soap is the, that's the word that's Really? Are you going to take the title apart? Are you really going to take the title apart? Well, let's talk about dropping Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Well, there is a, a, it's a euphemism for being rammed up the backside in prison. (laughs) (laughs) They say, don't drop your soap. Which by the way, I, uh, when you really think about it, Mm -hmm. do people in prison, are they just looking for that opportunity? Like, oh boy, (laughs) soap dropping. (laughs) It's like, uh, if you're in prison, you're going to do what you want. Exactly. Exactly. So anyway, that is it's a, so it's a euphemism, and it also uh, the soap opera itself as a form of uh, afternoon television is circling mm. the drain. If you sometimes will. mornings as well, it, it sometimes can morning. occur pre noon. Yeah, it can. Oh, really? Well, yeah. I remember <laughs> Young and the Restless and yeah, Ryan's Hope were on at eleven a.m. Mm-hmm. Yep. So you're absolutely. I correct. believe Generations may have been eleven thirty. Who knows? Mm. Those you know that wow. was when I was growing up. I'm too young to get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And Ryan's Hope, you guys are Me too, too young to get Ryan's Hope. I'm the oldest. Oh, person. Ryan's Hope, of course. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember that. Um, so mm-hmm. now. The, uh, this show basically is a uh, it's a real soap opera in the reality of the show but right. to us it's a fake soap opera That's no of course I, I don't have to explain like art to anyone right <laughs> right <laughs> So yeah, half of the sh- really yeah well yeah I wouldn't go so far but anyway half the show is uh, actual footage of our soap opera called Collided Lives and um, it's shot just like a soap opera that's why I was so impressed with, with cameras it. yeah with actual yeah. cameras mm-hmm. and um, the lighting is just like soap opera lighting and then of course it's, we go to the uh, cut to the backstage shenanigans and buffooneries and backstabbing activities that happen mm-hmm. on the set of this show that is you know on its way to being canceled. Mm-hmm. Until not Jane and, comes in, not actually. your actual show. No. It's not on its way to being canceled, no. but the fake no, no, show no. within. It's on its way to get a second season. Come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here, pushing this show. Pushing yeah. how uh, and uh, there's ten episodes, and they run uh, anywhere. Like they run the gamut as far as I'm concerned, as far as length: eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes, eleven minutes, twelve minutes. That's about it. It's yeah. about ninety minutes of content for the whole season. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. amazing. So it's almost like watching a movie in a way. Like you're it's very like much a, like watching. It a movie. did feel like that when we went. We had the premiere of it we mm-hmm. watched all of it together it felt like a very long movie no it didn't it was, it was funny from start to finish it feels it's- like watching something like you know Citizen Kane or <laughs> you know The Godfather these are right. movies I like yeah uh, I'm kind of weird that way. And this Can is nothing like that. that. Yeah. No, don't. I'm just strange that way. I like I like movies like that, mm-hmm. but uh, other that people you, well, you would not like this then because they're they're nice bite sized chunks of um uh, it's like having a beautiful sweet taste of candy every sure. episode. Every episode is so. Bad. Are there episodes that are M and M's and other episodes that are just nuts? Sure. Yes, sure. definitely, definitely, mm-hmm. and you have to decide at the end of each episode which it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it sort of like Funny or Die where you rate nuts no, or M and M's? No, nope. each episode. It's no, not at all. Like okay, good. Good, good. Because I hate that kind of responsibility. It's like if I'm watching something, I just want to watch it. I don't, yeah, you know? just watch it. You don't have to rate it. You know, like why put star? Why assign stars to something? Art is subjective, right? Although we encourage right? people to leave reviews. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah good sure. ones especially. If they're good. Yeah. Now, it's on Amazon, uh, which, you know, is always a weird place to do a show because it sells toilet paper and... Why is that weird? It is one of the biggest formats and one of the most up and coming it's mm-hmm. got the, some of the best television UNC. yes absolutely uh, mm-hmm. transparent. transparent yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. And uh, catastrophe oh which is amazing. Yeah, oh i love yeah. that show is mm-hmm. bag on that sh- is what now fleabag fleabag, fleabag. fleabag. don't know what that is but know. i'm gonna look it up it's this oh it's this british i lady. think that amazon is taking over the world go ahead i'm no, sorry no i just british. i can't remember if it's on amazon or not fleabag it's a great what show. do you think of that jeff bezos guy He's like the richest man in the world, right? Isn't that weird? Yeah, and second richest guy. It's like you always, uh, when someone's that rich, it's like they got to screw loose or I something. Probably, but you know? boy, I love Amazon, man. And yeah, not just because our show is on it, but I just I, I just love it. I, I'm, I'm on getting that stuff every day. single day. Me too. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. delivering. And, and I just Amazon learned that you can do a two-hour delivery. You're kidding. Whoa. What? Yeah, what? there's yeah. some things on a, they have a two-hour turnaround. Is that a drone thing or yeah, is that gotta just? it's got to be a drone. So hmm. there really are drones. Have you ever seen an Amazon drone? I've never seen a drone. I haven't seen an Amazon drone. I have seen it. 
drawn at the poppy fields just the other day. You're yeah, kidding. I am that white girl. I'm when you say the poppy the fields, are you taking heroin? What exactly is No, like, she's watching he knows Wizard what's up. The other white people in the room, we're all white. But uh, yeah, I, By the way, listeners of the show, no, I am not white. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> please don't all, look at all pictures. All like semi hipster white people that are like under the age of 35 went to the poppies this weekend. They oh, did? They're Why? all you look a, a on flame, Instagram. right? It's like beautiful yeah, out there. Yeah, it's a right? super bloom. Yeah. Oh. I bet it's crazy because of all the rain, too. Right? I've never Your heard. whole Instagram was lit up with that. <laughs> I don't know why you're including any of us. No one knows what you're talking right. about. <laughs> well, I guess I'm the most hipster here. <laughs> okay, you you might be. You may be. Uh, and uh, talk about the characters you play because, uh, and, and Jane, this is not something where you're like, hey, I'm going to take an executive producer credit. I'm going to go by the set like for one day for two hours. Like, oh, no, you're I did in craft this. service. Yeah. yeah. I, was, uh, I had a whole bunch of different jobs. She was handing out pots to No, her. she's Indeed. definitely yes. an EP. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. not a mm-hmm. That means executive title. producer for EP, the for those yes. of you who don't know producer. the lingo. Sure, but there yeah. have been shows that I've executive produced where it's like, you know, do I really need to come by? You <laughs> have know what you I mean? Really so, executive produced shows? I have. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Check and check them out someday. I gotta go look you up online. I can vouch for that. <laughs> there you go. Um, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. sometimes it's the, these things where it's like, uh, really, I gotta go by the set today. Well, she definitely you know I mean? was there. I was definitely there. But you're for in sure. it. You're in. You're yes. in like eight of these episodes. Indeed. Um, I play the boss. I play the new boss who comes in. The, the network hires me in order to get this show into shape and get the ratings up or get it canceled. And it's going to be kind of my call so I get to do whatever I want with this show so everybody of course is kissing my arse and uh, these two Paul and Kate their characters um, what's your name again Julian Julian and Kit Kit that that is the name of their act their actors they are Kit, what is your last name by the way Kit uh, knockers. Kit Knockers Kit yes. Knockers True to yeah. mm-hmm. or as uh, John Michael Higgins says are you fucking kidding <laughs> yeah. me when he, yeah, he's <laughs> one of the guest stars and they despise each other in real life and they are a hot love uh, couple um on the show, so mm-hmm. hilarity. Meaning, meaning in the soap opera, there exactly. There, uh, She's my long lost childhood love was that was trapped, trapped in a well, well for mm-hmm. years. So mm-hmm. I married another woman uh, instead of her, but mm-hmm. off screen we because she was gone for so long, you didn't know that she exactly. would never come she didn't back. Know she, I didn't know she, she was, was in the well, well for ten right. years. Typical yeah. soap opera stuff. Mm-hmm. Very I mean, life stuff. And they all live in a town called Sunview River Falls. Are we all in a well? Right. When you really think about it, the sunken place. Yeah. Um, and it's a very fun show, and you guys get to have uh, – not only do you guys get to act with each other, uh, but you have uh, a ton of guest stars. Uh, uh, Mimi Rogers shows up at she one sure point. Does. Uh, She's great. And you mentioned John Michael, John Michael Higgins. Higgins. He's great in Missy episode Pyle. three. And Missy Pyle, of course. Yeah. Patrick and, uh, Fabian, Diedrich Bader. Oh, Al very good. Sapienza, now yeah. you're speaking my language. Right. Julian Armanante. English. Nadia Barrett, Bjorland Nadia from Lord. Days of Our Lives, who's right, right. beautiful. Yeah, and she was hilarious. And a too. real soap actress. Yeah, yeah, were you guys fans of soap operas? Uh, is that why you wanted to do this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Growing up, yeah. Mm-hmm. General Hospital is my All jam. my children, Who, yeah. Are you a Luke or a Laura? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm, I'm a Laura. They? No. Uh, I, the, We're the yes Luke and Laura both. collided I was into both of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I that was when my confusing sexuality was kind of budding. <laughs> is that like when you watch <laughs> Sex in the City, though? Like, yeah, everyone sort of decides like, what I'm type. Carrie, yeah, exactly. I'm a Samantha. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. a Mr. Big, obviously. Yeah. But obviously. Obviously. I'm the one who oh, turned out clear. to be a lesbian. What's her name? Uh, Miranda? Miranda. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a Miranda too, I think. Or maybe yeah. a Carrie. I don't know. Kind mm. of like a no-nonsense kind of gal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. Out of Okay, here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. Okay, Saturday Night Live, right? Mm-hmm. Dreamcast made up of the characters on Sex and the City. So you have, so... Including guest stars? Yeah, but they have, they're the characters on Sex and the City. And whatever happens on Sex and the City happens to them, and then they... Through some weird confluence of events, they audition for SNL, and they end up on on Can SNL. Can get a better pool? What's wow. your what's your who's your dream cast? I and who no does idea who what does you're update? Talking about. I'm who going does to back update? Out. Sure. <laughs> who does? Update? I think Samantha. Clearly, Samantha I does think update. A dumb you think? Question. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Don't be in a, I want on, a different Jesus pool to Christ. choose from. I know. I, lo- I mean, I love that show, but it's not really like the style of SNL. I mean, mm-hmm. cool well, that's, that's why I think it's such an interesting question, isn't it? I mean, no, not really. You're going to pass on it. I think Sarah Jessica Parker is like a brilliant comedian, but I wouldn't put her on SNL. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I know what you mean about Sarah Jessica Parker, but I think Carrie Bradshaw would be great on SNL. <laughs> would she? Really? I think she'd be a mess. She, listen, to listen to her monologues. Listen to her monologues. They're so funny. What about Aiden? No, um, God, I'm Oh, God, I've always already. been... T- uh, I'm t- I married an Aiden. Oh, yeah, who's Aiden? <laughs> Aiden is the furniture maker that she didn't marry because... I've never like seen an together. episode, I have to admit. <laughs> no, no kidding, that's shocking because <laughs> the question good? shows a startling lack <laughs> of knowledge really? about both shows. 
<laughs> Gotta disagree with you. I'm a big fan <laughs> of my question. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, of course, the show is dropping the soap, and uh, it's really easy to uh, to watch it, especially if you have Prime. It only took me like three browsers to try to figure out how to start it. <laughs> three browsers? What yeah, that mean? Google that Chrome tech didn't tech? work for me. Oh, yeah. really? Oh. To, to use Prime? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't figure it out. So now you're telling the audience how hard it is to yeah. watch our show. Well, you, know. <laughs> you can also go to Dropping the Soap. So glad we're here. <laughs> yeah, me too. Thanks, guys. What is anything if not, you know, <laughs> having to work for it, mm-hmm. you know, to it's achieve worth it. the work. Yeah. It is worth the work. Uh, about 90 minutes. And, you, and you're and you angling for a second season right now? Yeah. We're sure. Looking, we're, are you paying? Yeah, how are the numbers? Hey. They're good, from what we know. Mm-hmm. We don't look at that stuff. Yeah, but of course not. <laughs> it's about the, the art, right? Thank you yeah. so much. Thank yeah, of so course. Much. Of course we not. We have tweeting to do. <laughs> yeah. How's, right. look at how's the tweeting coming, by the way? Great. I know that's very important it's, to you. It's amazing. Yeah, how many yeah. do you do a day? It's a full-time job. None. I do that. She's, does. Uh, I, do I, I retweet this. Kate all the time. In fact, that's all I do. I don't even write them anymore because you. So you got some good tweets. She, well, I'm 95 percent political, five yes. percent <laughs> dropping the soap. I would say my political stuff is much more interesting. Yes. What, do you, what do you got? Because I have a theory about politics, <laughs> which is that um, so weird lead in that mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know uh, the the uh, the the, Ring- <laughs> the Ringling Brothers uh, Barnum circus. and Bailey Circus yeah. is clo- is it's like closing now. My theory is that the clowns from that all moved to Washington D.C. Agreed. Uh-huh. And now they're the they're, uh, the, they're, they're uh, I haven't quite worked out the second part of my theory, but it, it so it ends there halfway through. <laughs> uh-huh. But it's dynamite as far as I'm concerned. I'm not gonna lie. I've heard that joke already. I think you stole that from someone. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. This is. It's not even a joke. It's a theory that I'm thinking of. But. <laughs> Uh, oh, someone was, took that theory yeah. and made it into a joke. So yeah. maybe you can tweet that. Or I've that read that tweet him. before. Um, no, I would agree. I, I, I would too. I, you know, I could I could talk for hours about. Mm-hmm. Let's this go. Topic. What do you got? Uh, I hypocrisy at its peak. I would say. Whoa, that's, that's too too much all, of a hot button. Do you think um, we should be looking forward to President Pence? Which I I got to tell you, I don't care. I'd be happy um, to welcome him I, to the I White House. I would be. I don't know that I'd be happy. I think it would be better than where we are now. Absolutely. But I, I mean, I think that he has horrible policies. He's very anti-LGBT. This, mm-hmm. all, you know, all the stuff. Oh, but anybody LGBT. going in? Any? But look at where we are, though. We, we're either with the, well, the clown or we're with the um, or, or Pence. And I would, you know, because there's no other way that anybody else is going to come in. They're not going to nullify the election. No, they're well, not going to nullify unless, unless they're all wrapped that, up. Yeah, if they're if all wrapped up. If there's some kind of treason, if there's treason charge, then don't they all leave? I and don't then know. we can bring in. Oh, yeah. I think I think it's strange his name is so close to pants. <laughs> you know? Pants, pants. You know, it's like, why why name your kid Pants? Well, they didn't choose a last name. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense they to me. They named him Mike. Too. Anyway, <laughs> this is great politics talk. We're uh, running out of time on this segment. We have to take a break. But uh, before we do, uh, dropping the soap, of course, we want to mention. Uh, why not? Uh, why wouldn't we mention it at mm-hmm. this point? You know, we want to get it in people's minds. Uh, and uh, You can go to the website, droppingthesoap.com, for all the links. You have a web, and you actually got droppingthesoap.com? We got it. And, and it wasn't, wasn't prison porn. porn. Yeah. yeah. It's really? much easier to find. Then you won't have to do three browsers. You could just click one. Do you ever feel tempted, like, for people who end up there accidentally, um, just, like, throwing up some prison porn just for yeah. that? No, but I will tell you that uh, this SEO stuff, that's search engine optimization wow. for the kiddos out there. Hey, you're killing me over here. <laughs> it's very, very hard to get the top. When you type in dropping this up, it's really hard to get the top. Uh, you know, plus right. and oh, Google really? above all the. How do you have to do? You have to like have people talking about the show a lot, or I'm or? not actually exactly sure. Yeah, you have to have a bunch of articles, and you can also sort mm-hmm. of, I think you can pay to do it. So let's get those articles going. If you're out there at the AV Club at Harper's yeah. Bazaar, who knows? Variety. Let's write an article about dropping the soap so we can get that up to the top. Because where are you now? You're like page three or something, or no? We're on the first page, but oh, well, that's we're bad. not the top. It's not bad. What's the top? Right. Probably some know. great that's prison good. porn. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm looking. For, I'm going to look it up during the break, and, yep. we're, and whatever is the top thing, we will feature uh, as a, <laughs> yeah, as a yeah. link <laughs> on this episode yeah. page. Um, all right, we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more of the dropping the soap crew: uh, Jane Lynch, Kate Mines, and Paul Witten, of course. And uh, this is very interesting. We have an author coming up and an entrepreneur. So that ooh, is uh, ooh, so yeah, excited. So this is very exciting. Are you guys fans of books? Yes. Uh, uh, not really. No. No. I read as often as Trump reads. <laughs> mm-hmm. Someone actually said to me the other day. Uh, someone said. 
hey, do you want this book? It was uh, someone in the service industry. And I looked at it, and it was it was a uh, a magazine. Oh, I thought <laughs> you were going to say it was the art of the deal. Yeah. Can I just say that yeah. um, I, I received a notice from Amazon, shipped your package with Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Skin Therapy with Cream <laughs> and Aloe has arrived at my home. It has arrived. <laughs> you don't say. So God, I love Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah. So if you got the, uh, if you're feeling itchy during this and I program. Do. I, well, I, well, I'm always itchy. Just know that that sweet relief mm-hmm. is coming to you as soon as the show ends. <laughs> exactly. Aloe All right. and cream. We need to take a break. We'll come right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> hey, Comedy Bang Bang listeners. Check this out. You can listen to the new Don DeMello playlist on Howl and Stitcher Premium. What are we talking about? Don DeMello, well, fans of this show know who he is. Bring out the girls. It features seven episodes of Don DeMello played by Andy Daly on Comedy Bang Bang. Stay tuned as more Comedy Bang Bang character playlists are coming in the next few months. To find out more about all premium Comedy Bang Bang episodes, go to howl.fm slash cbb. That's howl.fm slash cbb. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Uh, we have uh, the crew from Dropping the Soap, uh, executive producer and uh, co-star. Jane sure, Lynch. absolutely. Uh, we have co-creator and uh, co-star Kate Mines and co-creator and co-star Paul Witten. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. And in the time that we just took uh, taking that break, people could have watched one episode of Dropping the Soap. Yeah. In fact, you know what? This is, I mean, it's not happening live. You're not listening to it live. Just press pause on this podcast right now. <laughs> Go watch the whole season. Come Why back. Not? And then, and now we can assume people have done that. We can talk about the spoilers from the last episode. So go ahead, let's talk about them. <laughs> Paul, you want to take that one? No. So who's dead? Uh, no one's dead yet. On collided lives? Or yeah, but there is a little blackmail happening. Mm-hmm. Someone is. Someone very little. Webster? Is blackmailing. <laughs> someone oh, very no. tall and Danish. <laughs> S- very, someone very tall and Danish with something that's very incriminating. Oh, boy. This is exciting. Okay. Know, that's a cliffhanger, isn't yeah. it? And we all know that everyone's seen it by now because they press pause. They so, of and course. They watched the whole season on Amazon Prime or bought it on iTunes or went mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. You know, well, Google Google Play. Play. speaking of Amazon Prime, <laughs> uh, Amazon sells books, and that's how they sort of got their start. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we, our next guest uh, is the author of one such book, and uh, we'll find out if it's on Amazon, if we can get it. Uh, please welcome to the show, Curtis. Hey, Scott. I'm very excited to be here. I don't know if you can tell, but I am beaming. You I'm are, glowing, uh, ain't I? You're <laughs> smiling very, very big. I yes. appreciate that. Yeah, I'm smiling big because I'm a new daddy. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, That's yeah, so great. I'm congratulations. Daddy. Thank you this so is, much. By the way, this is Jane. Hey, Hi. how y'all doing? Y'all, y'all beaming too. Yeah, y'all yeah. look good. We're happy for you. Y'all, awesome. thank Kate you so much. Kate and Paul. Hey, Kate and Paul. How y'all doing? Good. How are you good, doing? Good, good. I mean, I'm a new daddy, you know. I yeah. got I to gotta, I gotta get my shit together straight yeah. up, you know. What is that? How do you mean get your shit together? I just, you know, I, I, I haven't been living like I was a daddy. Um, mm-hmm. I'm a daddy now, so you know I'm a changed how, man. How old is your child? My child right now is two months old. Two, congratulations! Thank That's you so, so much. Thank you so mm-hmm. much. Yeah. So you know I've been taking in a lot of information these days, mm-hmm. just being a new daddy, and I just you know I That's thought I would write it down and share. Oh, so it. this book—that's what the book is about. Yeah, it's, about. it's an advice book. It is mm-hmm. not currently published, but I do have a a manuscript. That oh. I'm like carrying around and sort of adding to day How by day. It? It's pretty thick, as you can see it right here. It's all yeah. written. Uh, yeah, I, I got it kind of like stapled together. It's all uh, those wow. are all uh, Red Lobster's kids menus. Mm-hmm. I yeah. just write right them on the br- back. I, write, I no. got a big stack of those because sure. I used to work at Red Lobster. Oh, okay, you're not ordering from the kids menu when you're there. No, you. I do. I do. That's you do? a little. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, you, you are very young. I almost thought you were too young to have a baby. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, but yeah. No, I got it going pretty early. You yeah. know, I, as soon as that baby popped out of that waitress's pussy, I was like, oh. "Damn, I got, I'm a changed man." Was this a, a Red Lobster waitress? <laughs> yeah, she was one of my coworkers. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. yeah, we just, you know, I am, I am beaming. I really am. Yeah. So I just wrote down. I'm writing down all well, these you, lessons. You say I'm, you weren't ever living like a daddy, and I think we can all agree we should all be living like daddies. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. gotta be living like, like a daddy. Tell us what it's like to live like a daddy now that you've got two months experience. 
experience under your ball- belt. Well, you know, I just were you going to say under your balls? <laughs> under your balls, yes, I was. I got a, I got too much experience under my balls, and mm-hmm. I am, you know, I am just. It's really, it's really about living clean. Uh huh. Okay. You know, you can't go down and get a tattoo. Just ra- randomly, got a huge one on your forearm there. Yeah, oh yes, that yeah. Says, you see this? I love red lobster pussy. <laughs> I love red lobster uh-huh. pussy. Yeah. yeah, that's a ma- uh, that's so large. Yeah, yeah. it's oh, it, and but this no is more, a huh? Cheddar Bay biscuit. Oh, but if you look on oh. the other side of my arm, it's mm. a lady's butt. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so one of those double sided tattoos. Yeah, on one side is a about? Cheddar Bay biscuit. On the other side, it's a lady's butt. But no more, huh? No more tattoos. No, you can't be Not doing that. No, I mean I. I've known fathers who have gotten tattoos. I don't know that they're exclusive to uh, people who have not uh, procreated. Yeah, no, I mean, like, I just can't be running out and spending all my money on tattoos. Oh, they're expensive. You know, yeah, you yeah. Buy gotta, diapers and food. Exactly, and exactly. Mm-hmm. So I've been writing down these lessons I've been learning. First of all, uh-huh. first of all, you got to get some small clothes. You okay. gotta get small clothes for, for, for the, the baby. baby. Yeah, you okay. can. I, all I got is big clothes, right? And those will not fit on the baby. So you gotta go mm. out and get small clothes. Have you to, tried drying them like re, in a hot, hot dryer? Yeah, you, regular I clothes. Did I bet you try, did. I took my clothes and I put them over a fire. Mm-hmm. I was gonna shrink them down, and they did just, they just burned they burn up. Burn, yeah, burn I don't know up. if you can tell my clothes oh. here. Oh. My clothes here are tattered. very burnt up. Yeah, these were clothes I attempted to make into baby clothes. This okay. tip also works for a weight loss book as well. You gotta buy smaller clothes. Exactly. That's mm-hmm. yeah. I'm thinking so about. So currently, your book works for two things. Currently, I y- if you want to lose weight, right. buy small clothes and humiliate yourself trying to wear those. Okay, and re- you know, <laughs> sort of like reverse engineer your body sure. so you don't look crazy I in have these done tiny that clothes. I can say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good technique. Okay, oh, so buy got. small clothes. That's buy tip number yeah. one. Clothes. You go into that store. Um, you know that store that's next to the Toys R Us. It smells like a gay guy's bathroom. <laughs> Kids R Us? Uh, <laughs> no, next to that. Uh, next to that. What's next to Kids R Us. Babies R Us. Is it ba- Babies oh. R Us? Yes. Is that it? What the backwards R? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's got the backwards R because the kid obviously put it on wrong. Right. Oh, that's adorable, isn't that's it? What is that what that is? I think so. I've always thought it was just the company. Mm-hmm. No, no, a baby did it. A yeah, you know how did it did wrong. And they thought it was cute and just kept it. it. Yeah, that's why that, that makes stores. so much more sense. Mm-hmm. I it, thought, are they inventing a new alphabet or something? What is this backwards R? No, it, a baby is in charge of all the design. Oh, uh-huh. they. You can understand. You know, it's an upside down. I'm, I'm surprised really. it's not upside down. It's yeah, just backwards. That's true. Where does yeah, Jeffrey fit back. into this theory? Jeffrey was uh, convicted of child molestation. He was serving a human child. Twenty into twenty. Well, he's a giraffe. He's in giraffe. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Um, a zoo, yeah. you mean? Mm-hmm, yes, he's okay. in a zoo. Exactly. So he molested a child and got put in a zoo. He got put in a zoo. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. So what else you got? I for had us? no idea all them all those animals at zoo were felons. Yeah, they're all they were all uh, molesters no, of some of uh, some I, kind of felon. Yeah, I thought mm-hmm. always that like this is pretty terrible. They keep these elephants in this cage, but all those elephants have done bad they're things. Terrible. They're things. murderers. I mm-hmm. had no idea. Yeah. So now I throw. I, th- at I chuck batteries at them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the walrus is guilty of tax evasion, I believe. Really? Which is how oh, they got white El collar. Capone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's mm-hmm. a lot of white collar monkeys up in there, too. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's, your, you second, yeah, what's your second tip here? Yeah. Well, I think you should get a baby ball. Okay. Just get like a baby ball for your son to like roll around and hump and shit. <laughs> Is your child a son? Are you saying Do you ball boy? or bowl? Well, no, this ball, like a ball, Can like a round, that? like you kick B-A-L-L. it. B A L L. B A L L. Where are you from, it. by the way? I grew up in Christopher, Georgia. Georgia, you know, it's interesting. I've had a lot of guests recently over. Uh, <laughs> From the show, and sometimes they have different accents where they're like from New York or something, right. but a lot of them I can tell they're from Georgia yes. underneath. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Sometimes characters will come on this show and they sound When I a say lot. characters, I mean like people and <laughs> yeah. funny. Right, yeah, no, no, no. You Real sound like people. That dude from S Town. I do know John B. John B. I know John Macklemore. B. Macklemore. Thank I think, you so much. I think you sound like the guy from O Town. Oh, uh, Damn. you look like the guy from O Town. Gosh, was Ashley Parker Angel? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you That's him. I like that guy. I know Ashley Parker Angel too. He's a good friend of mine. Oh, he yeah, is. I taught him all those moves. 
I'm a I'm a bad choreographer <laughs> on the side. Christopher Georgia. Yeah, yeah. So a big ball for in your for your son. Is yeah, it a boy? You just, boy? yeah. Okay. I don't, this is only for sons. Okay. This baby book. Advice. Because I don't want little girls rolling around on a big ball. No, I just I I will write a baby book for a girl when I have a girl, but I don't have one now. So this I, is son specific. Son specific. Don't specific. you right. think the the two tips that you've mentioned would apply to a woman as well? I think they could. I mean, ladies need clothes. And ladies need balls too, but this is specifically sun okay. specific. This is a boy ball. This is a little boy ball, little boy small clothes. Right. Now, what if um, a boy doesn't want to use gender pronouns like he and him? Is that going to be problematic? Yeah. yeah. How do we, how, and by the way, how do we find out if they don't like these pronouns, if they can't speak until, you know, two or... Yeah. You know, it's it's, yeah. a, it's a confusing issue these days. I think I think the pronoun issue is something that uh, somebody else gonna have to write a book about. Because you <laughs> kind of don't know what a pronoun is, do you? No. I do not know what a pronoun <laughs> is. I do <laughs> not I think, know what that is. I think I, Jane is saying the world at l- babies when they're that young. It's don't just know. when you're four and, and, nouns. Yeah, yeah. You know. mm, right. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. So a noun is a like a noun advocate. Ball. Yeah, exactly. A, noun. exactly. a person, yeah. person place, or a thing. thing is and a, a pronoun is that thing in noun. water that floats. <laughs> Is yeah. That, right, right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. What is your third tip for men? Uh, for, for, for little men. baby men. Uh, so, babies have small stomachs, so you only have to feed them like every eight days. Ah, right. Well, that's not good. I don't know that that's I'm not Yeah, because they got small stomachs, so you don't got to have a lot of food no, for them. I've heard that too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, that's. Well, I mean, I, th- I think actually what it is is you feed them smaller amounts every day. Instead of feeding them Multiple. what you would eat. Is that mm. true? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, luckily, I have a marker here, and I can erase this one. Okay, yeah. Because this is good. I'm really testing Markers this book Markers don't out. erase, by the way. <laughs> I'm scr- uh, What is it? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, right now, you're just crossing out <laughs> the uh, child's steak and lobster. Tr- oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, you have to. Cheddar biscuit is just that, right I, ca- I cannot believe uh, Red Lobster offers surf and turf for <laughs> children. For children, yeah, yeah. Hey, I thought it was a crazy thing, too. <laughs> but that's why I mentioned it. Yeah. Oh, uh, so let's see what else. Oh, um, let's get cards again. Go out and buy cards against humanity for babies. <laughs> wait, this is tip four? I think we're only on three, actually. <laughs> what hey, wait, wait, wait. We have buy, we small, buy small clothes. Small get clothes. Get a ball. Get a ball. Don't feed them. Don't feed them. Oh, don't feed, don't them. feed them other, feed than, eight them other than eight and days. So those are pretty generic, like they could apply to anyone. And now, yeah. very super specific. Okay, I'm going to put this one later, the Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> yeah, don't that, put that as rule number going four. going macro to micro. Yeah, okay, like so let's work to macro. So here's something. What is? But what is Cards Against Humanity for babies? How you does that know, work? that's like. You know, have what you ever that? played that game, sure, Scott? Of course, that I have. game is nasty okay. and it is hilarious. <laughs> it's so twisted. I I love. You're playing. a big fan of Cards Against yeah, Humanity. Yeah, it's. I love to be witty and shit <laughs> and nasty with my buddies, like the. <laughs> Talk about being nasty with your buddies. <laughs> oh, you Please. know that that tattoo parlor on S Town where John B hangs out with Tyler and that guy who's got. Got, huh? Are you trying to name the members of O Town? <laughs> no, no S Town. No, S Town. He's on S Town. Oh, oh, S Town. Remember that? that? I but know don't about. ruin anything. I'm in the middle. <laughs> So. Oh no, I ain't gonna he ruin it. Hangs out nothing. with Tyler. Yeah, I hang out with Tyler. I know Tyler. I know all Mama. them boys. Do you know Rita. his kids? Rita. He had three different kids with three different women. Another right? Maybe on the way. Who? So is he gonna help support your book? Tyler? Yeah. yeah, I am currently giving Tyler money oh, yeah. like Good. John B. was. Oh. Everybody, Tyler, I think Tyler's wealthy. Yeah. This is S-Town specific. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is getting a little specific. That's Maybe, fine. He found Maybe the gold. One, of, one of them could write the foreword to your book. That's always a good thing. That'll get people to yeah. look at it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be good. Just be like, what you about to read is about to blow your damn mind. Exactly. I mean, right. Just use that. That was great. That was yeah. great right there. And don't even ask him. Just sign his name yeah who's gonna find out oh yeah just put a picture of him right mm-hmm. for him and sign his name exactly there you go i'm gonna put president obama in there <laughs> at the front <laughs> exactly yeah, that's, i like that Can I ask, what, mm-hmm. why aren't you on s-town instead of this show <laughs> I was trying it's so to be much a more guest. popular. 
<laughs> I was trying to talk to that that, Brian, that fancy dude when he was down there, but he said um, I was problematic. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, at this all, a lot of things I was saying were problematic. Which is yeah. saying a lot if you're more problematic than the characters. I know because they were saying some bad stuff on there. But this yeah. is probably before you started your career as a writer. Yeah, that's is when, when I got turned down from S Town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of people don't know they should had auditions for that show. <laughs> <laughs> and John B, I went in right after him, and he nailed it. Yeah, he did a reading. The audition. Oh, yeah. How do you follow that? Did, yeah. How do you yeah. follow John B? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, he. Did I'm offer a- only for podcasts. Right. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Change info. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was. I mean, I can't make no clocks. I don't mm-hmm. care about climate change. By the way, a lot of people writing to me all the time saying, "Is the timekeeper on S Town?" Stop writing to me. Stop about right. It. That's not the timekeeper. I noticed. You know that the timekeeper, right? Yeah, yeah, I noticed yeah. that similarity. Timekeeper is a, f- a guest on this show quite often. Yeah, he's obsessed with time and stuff. Yeah, Maxwell Keeper. Anyway, yes. yeah, so yeah, what yeah. Did, go on to your next uh, tip here. All right, let's see. Um, it's not good that you're four tips in and you're saying, oh, let's see, um. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> like, it's you almost need, as like, if I was prepared for four and now I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and you have nowhere to go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Finish this. Cr- find as many words as you can in this word jumble. No, that's just part of the Red Lobster menu. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> How many words did you find, by the way? I only found the. <laughs> okay. That's the but only one I can find. T H E E. Yes, and that, yes. <laughs> so, you know. It's like a Bible word find. <laughs> yeah. um, so, if your, baby's, if your baby's crying, he's either hungry for titties or he's <laughs> pissed off because he's remembering how small his baby dick is. So that's, <laughs> I think it's the latter. <laughs> That's probably that's probably why he's crying. You got to tell your baby your dick's gonna get bigger. Yeah, you, well, it, get, it gets my, better. I, every time I, as soon as my son was born, I was like, "Don't worry, <laughs> be, don't yeah. worry, son. <laughs> Quit crying. It's gonna get bigger." Maybe he's just a grower, not a shower. All right, right, right. He well, he, yeah, he had a little baby boner <laughs> yeah. um, there for a while, and I was like, "All right, son." What, what was your son looking at to give to give him the boner? He was looking at this uh, mobile. You know I thought you were going to say Moby. <laughs> it's a Moby mobile. Oh, it's got his face and it goes around. Um, and I, I'm telling you, I was like, that's what I'm, yeah. I'm get horny Swing. by those things too, son. Yeah. Yeah. I still get sometimes to get going, I have to yeah. have a mobile. Is the mother right. of yourself. Yes. Right. Yeah, it's my face yeah. slowly Just circling me circling with a little with a nursery rhyme. Yeah. Mouths agape. Yeah. La- yeah. Uh, yeah. I have one of those. Yeah. 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 Mm. Wait, um, is the mother still in the picture? Well, yeah. I mean, she's she's still in the picture. I have. I don't mean house. just alive. I mean, <laughs> yeah. is she? Does she's she live with you? She is not with me anymore. No, I'm no, so sorry. But I'm trying to get it together and show her that I can take care of this son. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How long is this book? Because it looks like you have uh, hmm. two menus with four tips. Yes. Yeah. My, I write in big font. <laughs> So it's not a font. Yeah, <laughs> that's just your handwriting. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, this is this is Comic Sans. Oh, okay. I write in Comic Sans. It looks like you've been writing in Wingdings too. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm good at Wingdings. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, like, I for example, today my son. He had a dirty diaper, and just so you know, when your son smells like shit, he has shit his pants. <laughs> I, That's a good tip. I did not know that. I was like, that should be dang, I one. must be farting all the time, but my son had a dirty diaper. Or just maybe your son smells like shit naturally. Maybe. I mean, he's nasty like his daddy, so probably. <laughs> Why are you so nasty? You keep saying you're nasty. What's nasty about you? What's the nastiest just, thing you've ever na- done? I'm rolling around in a ditch while fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I'm nasty. Okay, all you right. Know, that, that's no explanation the, that necessary. That stuff turns me on, you know, <laughs> when I'm like, this is the grossest thing i ever done. <laughs> and that was the grossest? Just yeah. rolling around in a ditch? Yeah, rolling around. So it around. doesn't take much? No, no, no. I mean, I was, I was, you know, I like the smell of my own poop sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes they smell too nasty. <laughs> So you're, you don't seem that nasty to me. I mean, you I, you you occasionally and how what I'm not as nasty as my buddies, but I'm trying to be. <laughs> Why? <laughs> how nasty are they? Like, what do they do? Oh, they are so nasty. So they'll like they'll like uh, eat. 
They were like, eat old Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> out of the dumpster, right? Yeah. yeah. They'll eat Red Lobster out of the dumpster, and mm-hmm. they'll throw up on <laughs> each other. <laughs> like they baby bird each other? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're nasty. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm just trying to keep up with my boys, you know? <laughs> you rolled around in a ditch once. <laughs> yeah. And occasionally smell your own poop. <laughs> yeah. But most of the time, it's too nasty. Yeah, I can't be as nasty as them. <laughs> right. I try to be, but I can't. And I don't know that, that, that that's a goal to aspire to. Too. Yeah, that's too? what that's what my uh, my baby's mother says. She says, "Why are you trying to be nasty? Why don't you try to be like a functioning member of society? Or right. Why don't you try to like m- maybe not go to the zoo and laugh at animals in those Throw cages? Batteries, you know, yeah. like why don't do what, that? What are you laughing at them for? Like, what what's funny about them to you? That they can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a power thing for you. Yeah, I really I really heckle them. <laughs> Really? Come on, come on, raccoon! You can't get out of that cage. No there's a raccoon. There's there no raccoons, raccoons at the zoo. You oh. must be thinking of when you're in the dumpster. There are a lot of raccoons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or maybe yeah. that's all cr- the zoo in Christopher. Yeah, the, the, in, Christopher, in Christopher, Georgia, Georgia we have a zoo, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. and it's like possums in cages, okay. and like mm-hmm. there's some cows out there in the cage. This sounds like someone's farm. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably out. a farm. It's probably somebody's farm. <laughs> it's probably somebody's Would farm. Would you say writing this book is you're trying to like redeem yourself and your uh, great question? Th- thank yeah. you. That's your ex- baby mama's eyes. And you think that's uh, that's exactly what I'm attaboy. trying to do. I'm trying to show her that I am changed, mm-hmm. and I'm going to have a reading of it. I'm going to have a reading, like a live oh. reading, mm-hmm. like a live reading wow. and a book signing mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. at. Uh, a golden corral, sure. You know, strong choice. <laughs> is that What's a, a golden bar? corral? It's a golden restaurant. corral is a restaurant. It's like a Denny's. Yeah, it's kind of like a Denny's, but you get your own food from the buffet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like a it's, step down from uh, where you met your baby mama. Exactly. Like so, when you go into Denny's and you go, "This is too nice." <laughs> You can go to right. Golden Corral. <laughs> you just walk like, right, right back right. out the yeah. door. Are yeah. there sneeze guards? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but okay. they're dirty. Okay. <laughs> okay. They have just sneeze all over. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. They don't clean the sneeze guards. It's a, it's a point of pride for them. Okay. Like, yeah. look, these work. Yeah. And that's the sneezes. <laughs> this all is over. where you're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, congratulations on being an author. That's, I mean, that's a big time, you know? Uh, I, I, I don't know that anyone would publish a book that's, you know, four self-publish. sentences. He can, yeah. He can self publish. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm constantly picking up new things. I'm going to, I'm going to keep adding to this. Like, Work in progress. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. like do you live you, with your baby? I do not currently live with my baby, no. He moved out. He got his own place. <laughs> Are you sure he moved out and got his own place, or did he wander away? Well, I, the yeah. other day, he had a dirty diaper, and I right. didn't want to change it. Mm-hmm. So I took him down to a fire station, okay. and I left him on the doorstep. Mm-hmm. And then two hours later, I came back, and I said, never mind. I don't want to abandon my baby. Mm-hmm. And it had a new diaper on it, so I took him back. Great plan. So that's what I do sometimes when you don't want to change your baby's diaper. Wait, so the fire department is just changing the diapers <laughs> and then leaving it back out on the stairs? No, you got to you gotta get it from them. Okay. You got to <laughs> get him from Oh, I see. You asked for the baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he moved out with these people called CPS, <laughs> Child Protective. Protect- yeah, yeah, he yeah. loves hanging out with them, mm-hmm. and he like they're his buddies. So they moved they moved him into their little oh. um, house. Yeah. But I I am currently trying to show them that I can get my stuff together. And live with my baby. Well, mm-hmm. this book will definitely do it. It will, won't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's fun, too, because you get to also do the stuff on the kids' menu. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. you get to find- Oh, so you're including all that in the book. <laughs> oh, yeah. It will be just like this. The so- menus are not copyrighted by Red Lobster? I was going to say, that might be copyrighted mm. information. Well, details, that right? That's something, that's something we're going to have to figure out. The publisher's going to have to figure out. Yeah. You're well, self-publishing, though. I am. That's right. I so am you'll have to So you're going to have to figure, I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> that's something right. I will put, put on that's my That's your plate roundabout for later. way of saying that you're going to be doing this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But, you see, you get to, like, find... Uh, match the pirate to the boat. 
Mm-hmm. You see this little thing? How, how does one match a pirate to a boat? How do we know well, which pirate belongs okay, to Okay, so you see this boat's red, yeah. and that pirate's got a red hat? Oh. Okay. That's probably his boat. Uh, probably. Uh, probably. Okay. The answers but are not also, there. But also, he's got a, a number two on his hat, right? and this other boat has a number two. Okay. So it's confusing. Oh, this yeah. pirate could go to the red boat or the number two boat. <laughs> right. mm-hmm. That puts him on the horns of a dilemma. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? If you so, turn it upside down, down the answer may be oh hold on he owns both those boats oh, okay. there's, oh, only, the, there's only one pirate there's only okay. one pirate and two boats okay mm-hmm. it's, a well, it's a trick it's a trick i mean i would buy this book just for these kind of puzzles because yeah, yeah the puzzles are way more it's interesting like the doctor advice, it's like the yeah. doctor is a woman you know these kind of like trick my or like where is ulysses s grant's uh grave you yeah know? or who's wait where is it no <laughs> that's not a trick who's buried there one. who's buried in grant's tomb is what yes, i'm trying to say that's what it is yeah well congratulations thank Good luck you to so you. much can Thank you stick you. around uh, for another segment? We have uh, an entrepreneur on the show next. That Absolutely. Sounds, you're, that's You're like a mini entrepreneur. I am. Why don't you go yeah. look that up and we're going to take gonna a little break. I was going to say, do you break. know what that yeah. is? Like, what is an entrepreneur, that thing I can that right now floats? That. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you don't know what nope. one is. Okay, all, all right. right. <laughs> Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> hey, everyone. Scott Ox. Scott Ox here. Scotty Ox. Doc Ox. Uh, I want to bring something to your attention. Um, Make sure to check out all the new Comedy Bang Bang merch at the old Earwolf store. Yeah! Check this out. We have a Comedy Bang Bang television-themed hot tub hooded sweatshirt. It's got a great drawing of me and all of my CBB band leaders from the TV show, we got Reggie, we got Cuddy, and we got Weird Al, and we're all in a hot tub. Fun. We uh, made these for the uh, season five wrap, the series wrap party, and now you can get one yourself. Um, there's also enamel pins of me, Tracy Reardon, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, and all your favorite CBB characters. Plus, each pin is $8 each. And make sure to check out the Technicality No Down Boo Over and Hey Nong Man Ain't Nothing to Fuck With t shirts. Just go to store. Dot earwolf dot com. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, uh, we're back here. Of course, uh, the show is dropping the soap. Uh, Amazon, uh, anywhere Amazon is sold. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Jane Lynch and Kate Mines and Paul Witten here. And uh, we also have uh, Curtis. By the way, do you have a last name or are you sort of like, uh, you know, madonna it or sharing it? Uh, corn. corn. Your last name is Corn. Curtis Corn. Corn. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. with one N or... Uh, with a K and one N. Oh, okay. So like the band corn. Just like the band. <laughs> did, did you change it? <laughs> yeah, I did change it. You, uh, when I saw that video with that Freak bullet, on a leash? Yeah, when that bullet goes through all those walls, I was like, dang, that's cool. <laughs> so I changed How it from Bradley How old are you? Because you're, you're not that old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was very young. I'm 22. and I So you were about two years I, old Yeah, I was two years old when I saw that video, and mm-hmm. I was like, let's get the paperwork in order. <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> Right. Yeah, so very that's sophisticated. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah, I was good. I was very good at paperwork as a toddler. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and, but you're not good anymore at it? or Not anymore. I mean, I got tired of it. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I, like, I really ascended the ranks, and I was working at City Hall right. by, by the time I was eight. Because <laughs> really? by City Hall was a mess, so I came in. Well, and it's also I, cut out the middleman. You can just change your name right there. That's true. <laughs> Instead of I could have just done it very easily since I was working there, but I, I like to follow stuck the rules. with corn. Yeah, I stuck with you corn. You like to follow the rules. I do, I even do. Even though you want to be a nasty man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's my dilemma. Sure. It's because I followed the rules so much as a kid, now I want to be nasty. I'm rebelling <laughs> against my childhood self. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I, I'm getting a good glimpse See, of your I psyche. See, I total sense. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, all right, well, let's get to our next guest. Uh, she is an entrepreneur, the aforementioned op- entrepreneur that got us so excited. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm fascinated with small business, especially uh, in a country now where we're run by a businessman and our government is run like a business and we're seeing the dividends of that. Sort of. Oh, yeah? Um, Oh, yeah. 
it's just it's paying off in spades. Mm -hmm. I would love to talk to a smaller version of that and just see what makes her t uh, tick. <laughs> uh, please welcome uh, Wanda Dumps. Hey, Wanda Dumps. Hi, oh. hi. Hi. Oh gosh, I'm I'm so happy to what be here. What an interesting name, Dumps. Oh yeah, yeah. That's. My... Did you change it like he changed his name to Corn because you saw something like you hung out of the dump or? Oh no, no. It's it's my uh, my married name. Your oh, married okay. name. Yeah, I, I'm uh, my born name is. Uh, Born name. My, yes, my born my name. Born, I was, Your Jason born name. Yes. Uh -huh. My my born identity, if you will. Uh -huh. well, I will, uh, is, and I do. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. Is Wanda Thick. Wanda and, Thick. Mm -hmm. Wanda Thick. Yeah. Dump. Have, do you ever think about yeah hyphenating it? <laughs> Wanda, <laughs> Wanda Thick dumps. It's Wanda Thick dumps. You no, know, oh, I've God. had days of thick dumps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it's usually post, victim, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. usually post like a big steak dinner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, post you know, Red Lobster or post indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Un unlike our friend Curtis here, I'm not uh, not very nasty, so oh, I decided oh, okay. not to hyphenate my name. I'm just plain Wanda, Wanda Dumps. dumps. Okay, yeah. what uh, percentage of you is nasty? Would you say? Oh you gosh, to... can I give a negative percent? Oh Aww. sure. So you're not you're not nasty in the least. <gasps> no, I'm anti nasty. Oh, you're a oh, sweetheart. Yeah. She's a I just, sweetheart. She's oh, sweetheart. You love are. Her. No, gosh, I don't know. I love your sweater. Thank it's you so lovely. much. I love your dimples. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Thank you. You're quite welcome. Uh, don't give me another compliment because yeah. I have to give you one and then we'll oh, never no, stop. No, we'll never Let's stop. Let's have a compliment off. <laughs> no. Who oh, will no. win the compliment <laughs> off? All right, we go to Jane um, because Jane's up next. No, I just um, I want to hear what l little business you got going oh, on, Wanda oh, well, Dumps. Okay, but. Uh, I love your teeth. <laughs> oh, thank you so oh. much. Um, are I we just your you're naming body parts right now? <laughs> well, the what? What are? What are? What more to compliment? You know, yeah, body parts so. are God's adornments. And, indeed, they, they, that's true. And hair you? is the hat of the head. I, mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that actually that's um. A really wild segue, uh, yeah, really yeah. appropriate. Oh, really, I'm does like, your business have yeah, something to do with? Yeah, the... well, it, as a matter of fact, it does. So I'm I'm a mom, and okay. um, congratulations! How uh, many children three, do you have? Three, three, three children. What are their ages? Yes. Well, Katie, she's 19. She's in college. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. So she's flown the uh, the coop. coop. Yeah, she's up at Santa Cruz. You oh, see, oh, the banana Cruz. slugs. Yeah, mm -hmm. I won't. She won't let me visit her. I have to dress up like a like a student <laughs> if I want to go see her. How do you dress <laughs> like a student? Ooh, I wear a, a short, cool wig, <laughs> and uh, I wear two baseball caps. Oh, you know, it, uh, kids love a baseball. So cap. you look Did like you, know? you basically look like like Sherlock Holmes or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Sherlock Holmes meets Justin Bieber. That's my goal. Okay. Oh, you know, and I I um I bring a lot. Of drugs, and there I you say, go, Santa Cruz. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I, like, I wear a big there. trench coat and I open the coat. I say, "Who wants drugs? I'm oh, a kid." Okay. Wow. <laughs> but you're not nasty. Yeah. No, that because that's a character. It's a, oh, okay. I use that to get close yeah. to my daughter. Okay, how does hey, your daughter respond to that? Um, she's she always she runs right away. And yeah. she says, uh, "Get out, get out of my life, mom." <laughs> oh, really? So you have a contentious yeah. relationship with your daughter? Well, she loves me. She just doesn't know how to express it. Oh, <laughs> so what's okay. your business? Yeah. I want to oh, hear about gosh, that. It has to do Jane, with your hair. Thank Thank you. you have beautiful yeah. hair, by the way. So, well, you have beautiful. No, the, I don't. Your pupils, your pupils are oh, thank lovely. You. They're so. So now we're in parts of the eyes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a little basic. My corneas to do, need yes. work, but yeah. my yeah. pupils are. I wasn't are, gonna say. Yeah, it, that's but. okay. Honey. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's age. Um, Go well, ahead. I make little keepsake jewelry. You know how uh -huh. about people to you know remember their kids. You'll have a, a little locket or maybe a charm that sure. looks like your daughter, or your son. I wait. The, the make... locket looks like your daughter, or there's like <laughs> well, a it locket. opens. You'll open it up. A photograph. A photograph. Yes. That would be. A very a tough business to be in engraving. to be making yes. lockets that look like people. Specific sure, people. I tr I tried that. It was I cut myself a lot oh, um, yeah. by accident. I make um, I make little necklaces out of uh, things like my my children's teeth, oh. their baby teeth, their hair. I make a little bracelet oh. out of their hair, okay. or like a little. Um, have you ever seen those tattoo? You know those stick on tattoos, uh -huh. little gemstone tattoos. Oh, sure. Have you ever seen one that's just right out of your uh, son's little toenail clipping? No, I haven't. A little son. Wow. No, yeah, are they double sided like uh, Curtis's? I'm be the first one to no, say this is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Excuse me, it's just a well, little bit disgusting. Well, I think it's kind of sweet. I, I think, it's, think I think well, it's, that's because so a keepsake, you know, is just remind you of a person. What's a better keepsake than a part a, of a, their body? A, a, a part of their body's garbage. So this think? necklace yeah. you put on me before the taping, and this is your daughter's hair. Yeah, that's Katie's <laughs> hair. I'm, it's oh. itchy, and I like it because when you itch, you're remembering. Yeah, it is creating a rash on my neck. 
say. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I thought that was another tattoo, but no, that's a, a full on ra- a ring full around on your rash. neck. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and, and that's yeah. my question: is 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 these uh, keepsake jewelry? Yeah. This is uh, not. You don't approach a person and say, Can, "May I have some of your child's hair?" No, it's all my children. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so we're supposed to, if we wear these, we're sure. reminded of your children. Yeah. Well, they're great. <laughs> they're great <laughs> kids. You know, okay. they're really great kids. They're one. I mean, yeah. my my son Roger, he's fifteen. Okay. He does parkour. He's always jumping up a building. <laughs> Wow. He sounds great. Yeah. Wouldn't you want some of that? I bet he's... Uh, Wouldn't I, you want some of that 15-year-old boy with the strength in his legs to jump right on top of someone's car? Or, I guess so. Or I do mean, a little flip off a Dunkin' Donuts wall, you know? I guess. Don't I, you I want his little teeth? for answering that question. Don't you want his <laughs> teeth? I mean, I suppose that uh, he would maybe lose a toenail here and there. And, yeah, when and then you could put him, stick them on your body. Well, that one you're wearing, that looks sure. like adult teeth. Oh, yeah. These is are, that, this is my... Well, how do my you know husband, what adult teeth look like, by the way? They're oh, bigger. Yeah, they're bigger. bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. who, 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 who are yeah. the bigger teeth? Who is that? Oh, is that? gosh. Well, the, uh, my husband. Okay. My husband, Why Trent is your husband Dunst. losing teeth? Um, well. You're yanking them out, aren't you, honey? No, I'm not. No, oh, okay. I, I only feed him. I feed him a very nutrient-poor diet so they okay. fall out right on their own. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just, I'm just just feeding him. Nutrient-poor diets. So yeah. Not, so you know, what are we talking? We're talking glass. like. Glass. Well, so, uh, so, you know, glass would be an example of right, a nutrient-poor right. food. That's not what mm-hmm. I. I'm feeding him mostly like wet paper, but I, seasoned, <laughs> seasoned Season. wet paper. Okay. So it tastes good going it down. It tastes good. You know, you can make it hot. You, I like to make. I like. I cook for the week. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, into, I'm into meal prep. So right. it's like so like, like doing yeah. a lot of paper mache. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Just get all the newspapers. I like to uh, use the ads because nobody's really. Yeah, no one's. Really, no one needs those later. It's not yeah. like a week from now you're going to be like, what was that ad? Oh, I got to. No, yeah. no. So I just stir them up in a big pot. I put this all makes in sense. Where? Yeah. Well, I think it does. Thank you. Thank so you, yeah. you're you're harvesting your children and husband for body parts. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, sure. If you, yeah, yeah. I mean, harvesting mm-hmm. is like a farm, and that's a good thing. So I'd say, yeah. Well, that a farm is yeah. just a you know, it's kind of a zoo in the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. Must well, mean, it's, yeah. It's like just mass like production is going to be difficult, right? What's that? Because mass production is going to be difficult. Yeah, I'm going to say your your husband is going to run out of teeth. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, your children only have thirty toenails. Mm-hmm. Well, limited no, toenails edition. continue right. to grow. Oh, I they do. Yeah. Yeah. Branch yeah. Out yeah. But some children. will be limited Rush. edition, right? I mean, well, the, yes. your husband's true. teeth will be limited. Yeah, exactly, because you know that's it's like mm-hmm. when when you get you know those little those little uh, uh, comic book figures and there's a number on the bottom on their feet. Roger loves those. My little son Roger, he's yeah. like, I want that one, and I'm right. like, sure, anything. Mm-hmm. So you're assigning it's, and numbering yes. these? Yes, yes. Each tooth has a little number, and oh, then you know nice. the nails, the hair. Those are cheaper because you know that's forever. You never right, stop exactly. making those. Mm-hmm. It feels yeah. like a very niche market. Who are you selling? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I got, you know, um, some big, big buyers on our Etsy store. Um, oh, uh, one Etsy. of Yeah, he mm. buys at least four uh, a month. Uh, big Creepy 216. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's his name on uh, Just Etsy. says it right there. In his, big well, Creepy yeah. 216. Yeah, Are you on yeah. Amazon? Am I on? You know, I've, I've tried. Uh-huh. I've tried so much, and they've, they yeah. keep... The browser I, they problems, keep turning right? Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah the I can't get problem, the right yeah. browser. Right. I, now, I've tried on my phone. Mm-hmm. You I got to Silverlight or something? Yeah, I got it. Explored. It's that really work. tricky. Web yeah. crawler. Yeah, I Web just crawler, open okay. up yeah, and I'm, I just Google, a kid, will you take my kid's teeth? Yeah. And generally, um, the answer is no. The answer is no. Yeah. yeah but Big so. Creepy Guy, what, what was no, the number? No, no, His name big, is not Big Creepy Guy. Oh, sorry. Yeah. His, big his, I, yeah, but just Big Creepy 216. Oh, big, oh yeah. so it, who knows? It's not who gender knows? specific. No, no. Yeah. I think, you know, I think it's probably, a, um, I think it's uh, my, maybe Michelle Obama. That's my guess. <laughs> well, we can all uh, yeah. I wouldn't be Surprise. You know, just look up close. You don't always get to see her jewelry at an event, but if you look real close, I, I, she's wearing a couple teeth, you uh-huh. know? Yeah. Uh, earrings, I make earrings. A pearl earring is really, j- could be just a polished tooth, you know? I mean, mm-hmm. a pearl is uh, like a... Pearl? It's it's like a body yeah. part. It's the tooth yeah. of the sea. Well, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We got uh, tuna is the chicken of the sea. Z- a a pearl, pearl is the tooth, tooth of, of the sea. Yes. Yeah. What else? What's seaweed? Sea. Seaweed is seaweed like the necklace. The, the, the necklace of the of sea. The sea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else we got down there? Yeah, sand. I beg your pardon. Oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> sharks. Yeah. Sharks are the dads of the sea. Oh, I yeah, like that. Yeah. Dolphins. Uh, 
Ooh, the yeah. ball- ballerinas. <laughs> ballerinas like of the sea. sea. Yeah. Wow. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're can beautiful. You want to touch them. Can I ask you a question, Wanda? Of Wanda course. Dumps? Anything. Anything. Um, yeah. It seems like this type of jewelry, I've seen it before. Oh, yeah, uh, right. I've seen it used in uh, various sort of uh, ceremonies or... Uh, uh-huh, like a wedding or a bar mitzvah. No, not necessarily oh, those. Uh, uh, christening. You mean like indigenous I, yeah. cultures of yeah. Uh, yeah. African tribes? Almost huh. as if it's, uh, 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 you know... Uh, like uh, not witchcraft, certainly, but oh, uh, close, no. close, close. Yeah, yeah no. you know what I'm saying. I do. I'm guessing she's Christian, so I'll be careful. Why wow. would you guess she's Christian? That's and by the way, let's all guess what mm, everyone's please, religion is. Yes, let's do a religion <laughs> guess. <laughs> by the way, talk into that yeah. thing when you just by the <laughs> look of her face, I'm going to say she's oh, total. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and the fact that she doesn't like to be nasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, she's got a Mike Pence vibe to her. Yeah, mm-hmm. she sure does. <laughs> Thank you. Or Mike Pence's Ooh, wife, Kathy. Kathy mm-hmm. Mother yeah. Pence. Mother yeah. Pence. Little Mama Pence. Does yeah. your husband call you mother? Um, <laughs> he does. Do he your does. kids I, call you mother? No. Oh. No, that's why I make my husband do it. They call you Wanda? <laughs> yeah. I, they call me uh, Mrs. Miss, Dumps. Miss, Mrs. Dumps. <laughs> Mrs. Dumps. Uh, except for Katie. I don't want to say what she calls me because it's not appropriate mm, it's, for the it's radio. A, it's a hard time yeah. for Katie. It really it's a hard time is. for a mother daughter. College is hard because yeah, you just miss your mom so much. No, I don't know that that's it. That doesn't seem to be true for me. Mm-hmm. So, so the, these these uh, jewelry pieces sure. are not used for any kind of uh, ritual, any kind ritual, of ritual, 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 yeah, ritualistic uh, ceremonies right. involving blood or uh, sacrifices, sacrifices, beheaded chickens. No, that uh, sort of. Thing. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. They're they're more like a party jewelry. Like okay, you know, sure. like Good I did times. sell them to a bunch of uh, lovely girls. They wanted them for a birthday party uh, with capes and little pointy hats. Okay. And then one of them just hopped. right Right in her car, which was long, a, a long, a long stick car with some branches on it, and she drove right away to okay, her home. I believe you're talking about a broom at this point. <laughs> no, I would say it was Did a stick you? long stick car. <laughs> yeah, stick car. you know, because cars are getting wild these days. Mine has a hatchback. Wow. <laughs> Those have been around for, yeah, that's not a new for a while. Thing. Yeah, well, you know, it's new for me. My back's usually just solid. What were these hats like? Were they like whoa, whoa, pilgrims' hats with points? Or? Yeah, well, like a pilgrim's hat, but a brim to keep you from the sun because they live in the sky. Were they yeah. laugh, a lot of sun. Were they all yeah. laughing around a big cauldron and stirring it? Oh, um, yeah. Were they, they saying were anything like double, mm, double, double, double toil, toil and trouble, trouble yeah. type of thing? Burn. Yeah, they or did. They were like, pretty. that's what, uh-huh. Yeah. uh-huh. And I was like, oh, I'm pretty, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think they were in a sorority. I think those are... <laughs> I wish Katie would join a sorority. It would be like just so many more friends for me to know. Those are Scientologists. Yeah. You ran into a group of Scientologists. Oh, well, that's... I don't like that because I don't believe in science. <laughs> you don't believe in science. No, you should work no. for Trump. Yes, then you are absolutely you got right. She's, she's, she's Christian. Christian. Well, I yeah. prefer to say um, just part of part of Jesus's inner circle. Oh, okay. So what, yeah. when you say I'm, you don't believe in, in isn't that the social Jews? network? You don't believe in any science. No. What what is like? What's the blue thing up in the air when uh, we look? Uh, it's the it's a blanket. It's a blanket to keep us all warm. It's got mm. you know because you know we're getting warmer and warmer because God's just tucking that blanket around us. Yeah, okay. tucking us harder. Yeah, is, is yeah. Tina Fey once said. So mm. doing uh, what's a nice name? blanket because mm-hmm. yeah because mm-hmm. 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 what I mean what color is your blanket? Uh, I mean it's obviously it's blue. It's well, the sky. The, the, it's yes, the atmosphere. Exactly. exactly. Uh, yeah. What yeah. color is everybody's blanket? I don't know what you're talking about, Ro. What are you asking Sounds us like right now? Sounds like a great book though. Mm-hmm. What well, color is maybe your you blanket? Could write, you know, write a children's book about it, Curtis. I would love to write. You a don't children's write children's book. books, by the way. You write books about rearing children. Yeah, <laughs> for adults. But it's what? a children's book. <laughs> right. It is a book on children. Mm-hmm. So It'll probably be at a, a child level, like a first, second grade level. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping I can get anybody to buy it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave parts of it blank that you can color in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the biggest word you know, by the way, Curtis? Uh... Um, let's see. Uh, like, like, how many syllables is the biggest word you know? It is four. Four. Mm-hmm. What do we got? Yeah. Um, let's Ooh, see. Really got uh, Pickle. Okay, I just got to say a four-syllable word <laughs> <laughs> quickly. Yep. That's all I. That's have all you got to do. And by the way, you can't say four one-syllable words. Uh. I can? I cannot, is what I said. I cannot. Okay, but thank you for asking. Uh... Well, oh, shoot. I got one. <laughs> I keep thinking of three ones. How about unrelated? Do you know that word? Unrelated. Yeah. Have you ever said that word That is that something before? me and my Unrelated. wife are not. 
<laughs> oh, a little bit of uh, yeah. crossbreeding yeah. or what do you call it? Yes. Interbreeding. Really, you're related mm-hmm. to your... I'm related to my current wife. Oh, okay. And what, well, what is the relation? It is, she is my second cousin. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, not so bad. But not, not so bad. By, but no. by marriage. When you say second cousin, do you mean just the your first cousin, but the second one that arrived? The this, this yes. second <laughs> of my first cousins who walked <laughs> there in the door. Go. There you go. That, okay. That, okay. that received my... Hey, how you doing? Mm, oh yeah. Oh, okay. So I was turned down by my first first cousin. Uh huh. Okay. And then my se- first second second first cousin <laughs> mm-hmm. said, "How you doing?" Okay. And then we rolled around in a ditch together. <laughs> You've only had sex <laughs> once. Is that what I'm getting at? Yeah, I've only successfully had sex one time. And you <laughs> fell into the ditch, right? I wa- I was trying to make it to back to my house, but we <laughs> fell in the ditch. And did, did, was the sex consensual, and it was meant to happen, or or did your penis just be, when you were falling into the ditch? Just no, happen. no, it was consensual. Okay, it good. was consensual. Yeah, good, good, yeah. Good. Good. I, consensual sex with your consensual. First there you go. There hey. it is. That's you do it. Very good. Thank you. Consensual. But can you define it? Is the question. Consensual. Uh, okay, so consensual is a thing you get on. To get from point A to point B no. okay. on a river. That's right. Nope. <laughs> so you're saying your sex was on a raft in a ditch. Yes. Trying to get to a river. Yeah, their ditch had some what water was the in point it. point B? That's the stream. Point B was uh, that tattoo parlor from uh, S Town. <laughs> okay. A lot happening at the tattoo parlor. <laughs> yeah. You love hanging out at Curtis, no, you're not, you're, estra- you're estranged from your, or you're not. On good terms with your, I am strange to her. Yeah, <laughs> can I, I am <laughs> strange to a lot of us. <laughs> yeah. um, can I recommend uh, a, a lovely gift that you might re- that she might really like? It could win her back. Mm. Oh I wonder what my this, wonder what this is going to uh, well, be. Well, do yes. you have any? So your 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 baby's pooping all the time, right? It's a baby. Do you have any little baby diapers? Uh, well, yes, I do. I do have some baby well, diapers for, for the baby. Well, they, yeah, they are adult diapers that I have shrank in the dryer. <laughs> okay, okay, well, they're little. I would just attach, you know, maybe a little bit of string to one of those diapers to either okay. side, and it makes a beautiful purse. <laughs> and you, okay, so like a used one? After Once the baby well, has used one, because otherwise it's just a diaper purse. But if it's a used right. diaper, it's a lovely keepsake, and she might really... Be that is over by very that. nice. Might... Is that what you have here? <laughs> oh yes, this is a diaper purse. This is from my youngest, uh, Don Don. He's a baby. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say it yeah. smells terrible in here. <laughs> oh, well, the minute you walked in the door, I, I didn't. You know, you guys were in a compliment off, and sure. I didn't. I didn't want to have a negative energy with that. But oh, it's it just smells, my purse. Y- yeah, <laughs> you, your purse. Oh, that is your purse. purse. Do you mind no if purse. I have a yeah. little bit of chapstick? Oh, of course. Li- sure, oh, one moment. I've got a bunch of different kinds. I've got uh, okay, soft Curtis, lips please the don't put. Oh God. Oh, he's putting it on. Oh my! You have just smeared shit yes. all over your your lips. <laughs> Dang, yeah. that's got a nice. It's got a nice. Uh, uh, usually, cl- usually you don't like the smell of shit if it's not your own, and no. you don't even like your own. It feels like Blistex. Well, it's got like a nice winter fresh feeling. If you want mm-hmm. more, consistency, yeah. consistency, four Four-ors. syllables. Gosh. So the the words you know always uh, start with con. Yes, yes. <laughs> Consensual. Consensual, consistency, Mm -hmm. con. So you're working your way through the diary. (laughs) Diary? (laughs) Dictionary. (laughs) No, I'm working my way through uh, my diary. (laughs) (laughs) Great. Well, this is fantastic, you guys. Uh, You have a lot in common. We do. I'm amazed. Yeah, it's really, it's lovely to meet such a kindred spirit. So you are married? You are married. Yeah, I am. Happily married. Well, it's going badly, but I'm married. Happy on her end. Yes, it's happy on my end because I just get to grab a new tooth every morning. Is your husband starving to death? Um, Well, he's, you know, he's very fit. He used to be the biggest man I've ever seen, to be honest. (laughs) You don't say. Yeah, yeah. I used to, um, I found him, he was being... uh, Airlifted? um, Yeah, yeah. He was uh, (laughs) being lifted by a helicopter, and I'm a caretaker. Okay. And so I just love Caretaker of, like, a a funeral home, or... (laughs) No, it's it's my romantic type. You ever take a quiz in, like, Cosmopolitan (laughs) magazine? Normally, uh, too much sex in that magazine. It's not my style, but the quiz is Mm -hmm. very good. They're awesome. Very Mm -hmm. good. And I learned I'm a caretaker type. I love. I'm a mother to all. 
wall. When you see someone yeah. being airlifted out of a house, <laughs> you're like, just zeroing in. <laughs> yeah, I went over. I, I, I made him uh, put down a rope ladder. I climbed up the ladder. You, so they were willing <laughs> to do that? Yeah, well, we have a... I live in a, you know, I live in a small town. Oh, so you have a relationship very, with those yeah, people. Yeah, they yeah. know sure. when they we see know. you. They're like, it's Wanda. Drop the, drop Wanda, the ladder. Drop yeah. the ladder. It's, it's <laughs> dumps. Drop yeah, the ladder. Let's yeah, let's just d- dump right up there. Dumps you know. wants in. Yeah, yeah. dumps. D- get air... Air li- get dumps in the air. <laughs> dumps right. in the dumps air. In the air. Yeah. Dumps in the air. So yeah. you climbed a little ladder up to this big man. Sure, yeah. And you, I climbed right on his chest, <laughs> where because you know that thing can it can hold a lot the of chest. weight. A lot. You know, I climbed right on his chest. I said, <laughs> "Baby, you're gonna be my husband." And he oh. couldn't. He was passed out. He had an oxygen oh, yeah, mask yeah. on. But um, he was being uh, airlifted out for medical reasons. Sure. Yeah. yeah he was yeah. in a long. Did he remember any of this time. when he no, woke up? No, he woke up in my house. Okay. And I said, it's your wife. We got married while he was still uh pre- Oh, they he took you at, guys yeah. right to Vegas when yeah. he was in the sling? Yeah, well, they know me. They were happy to do so it. So they did you know? a non-consensual marriage. Uh, I guess you, but you I guess you were being transported to point B, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it was consensual. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, yeah, we were you know, in a, the river of the sky uh, going from the uh, tattoo parlor called Vegas, and then we got married. It's exactly the, the same. The river of the sky? What is yeah. the river of the sea, by the way? <laughs> the river of the mm. sea? Or th- it's just a river, right? Well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think she said river of the sky. Oh, I know, but yeah. I was taking it back to the, the of the, the sea, sea conversation we had but moments ago. The river of the sea is... Uh, or what is the river? I mean, I mean the river's of, Cuomo of the sea. Yeah, oh, the river's Cuomo of the sea. Well, that's easy. A blowfish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Of course. Of course, of yeah. course. Well, this is fascinating, guys. Good luck to you both with your... Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, everyone has a project you. here that you're... you're crazy, crazy, isn't it? ...hooking, and, yeah. you know, that leads us into the final segment mm-hmm. on the show, and that is, of course, a little something called plugs. <laughs> Hello? Now, I don't need a beat. I do these plugs a cappella. I'm doing it for the ladies. I'm doing it for the fellas. I'm doing it so good the PFT is getting jealous. That's a good song. Thanks, I try my hardest. I only got my vocals. I don't need no guitarist. Lauren Lapkus is the queen. I place no one above. She got me acting a little childish like the son of Donald Glover. Better make like football and be a good sport. Because I could go for days, but our man prefers it short. Hmm. <laughs> All right. That was oh. Aka Plugas by the only people who matter. Oh, that was interesting. That was cool. We don't get a lot of acapella right. plug submissions, so uh, it seems like the easiest thing you could do. It seems yeah. like more people would do it. That had a good flow. <laughs> <laughs> it did. <laughs> what do you think flow means? <laughs> flow is a small raft. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything is a raft. Well, maybe All right. it is. <laughs> All right, guys, what are we plugging? Um, obviously, uh, we have uh, Dropping the Soap. Yeah, Dropping the Soap is on Amazon, uh, iTunes, Google Play, um, and it's Deku. Ten- Deku. How, what are these things, Deku and Google Deku Play? Deku is kind of a gay man It's uh, It's a gay Netflix. It? Yeah. yeah. Gay Netflix. It's Deku a newer company. Yeah. How do you spell Interesting. it? Interesting. D-E-K-K-O-O. Yeah, and they were, they've been great to us. What do they yeah, have, what do they have on it? Just gay about shit. any gay movie, primarily male gay centric mm-hmm. um, that you can think of. So you got Star Trek, uh, yeah. the new Star Trek. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Because of the Chekhov's, or yeah. no, the uh, Sulu scene. <laughs> Anything with Chris Pine, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, of course, for yeah. the LeFou. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, right, like, right. anything that comes out. If it yeah. has, so anything that's, that's interesting. gay centric and has gay a centric. naked man. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it has to have a naked man. Do you guys have a naked no, man? No, we don't. Your... But we do no. have Paul Witten. Yeah, and Paul, are you, you going to drop trowel? imagines him dropping the trowel. I didn't mean now, yeah. but thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, appreciate that. That's a nice dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, your dick has a good <laughs> flow. Yeah, it does. Very good. It's kind of like a wrap. Yeah, I I make a necklace out of that. Why is there a flow coming out of your dick? By the way, are you okay? Getting that checked out after the podcast. Okay. Um, and uh, there's uh, 10 episodes. It'll take uh, 90 minutes of your time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and uh, I mean, a lot of times when you hear, oh, you got to see a show, you look at it and it's like, oh, I got to watch 13 of these hour-long things? <laughs> I no. never look at things like that. You don't? You, no. you look at it as, as an opportunity. Yeah. If I, I get like it, to. I like it. And I get to watch 13 or I get to watch 10. That's true. Sometimes you 10. don't want something to end. Yes, exactly. But That's it, how it I can feel be, about a lot of things. It can be daunting to be told about a new show like Game of Thrones or whatever. And then you look at their seven seasons – Game of Thrones is a new show, right? Yeah, brand new. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Where it's like, oh, God, this, this is like 10 episodes. They're all uh, between uh, 8 minutes, 12 minutes or so. Uh, they're very funny. Great cast, great guest stars. 
Uh, fans of soaps will like it. You don't ever have to have seen a soap to like it. I don't know. Like it's, laugh, I think it's like, like it's it. like a workplace comedy. It's like if you like The Office, if you like it's if you like working in Philadelphia, if you, like working. if you work in a workplace, yeah, you'll be it like, just oh, happens to I take get this. place at a soap opera. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that's fantastic. Uh, all right, uh, Wanda, what are we plugging here? What do you like? <laughs> sure. Well, um, you know, please check out my my wares at my Etsy store. It's called the Dumps. Store. Oh. The dump um, store. The dump store. Did you ever think of just it being the dump? No. <laughs> Why? But the dump implies it's full of trash, Scott. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, that's what. <laughs> and that's kind of. Never mind. Yeah, that's kind of what a butt is filled well, with. Mm -hmm. Well, I would just. Uh, the, the trash of the body. Yeah, well, I. Uh, the bo uh, It's the jewelry of the body, the adornments oh. of the body. Okay, right? yeah. I don't know. If you're. Are you making jewelry out of your dumps? Well, she I didn't want to say it. I, it's, you have it's a new a, line coming out? I'm working on it. Oh, I'm trying boy. to get the consistency right. <laughs> it's, anyway. You have inconsistent dumps? Yeah, well, yeah, inconsistent. That Inconsistent oh, dumps, that's okay. a full That has, a con, that has a con in it as well. Yeah, I yeah. know. I, well, they're inconsistent when I eat the same uh, just mashed up paper that You've been my eating the paper does. mache too? Yeah. Uh, Wait, yeah. did you used to be fat as well? Well, <laughs> I used to be fat, but not as fat as my husband. <laughs> how, many, how many pounds shy were you of his weight? I was about uh, 350 pounds less than him. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, but he was 900 pounds. <laughs> oh, okay. So you were a big lady. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, I okay. prefer to... I prefer to say large and big bum. And now, yeah, what's, bum. what's different than big? <laughs> you prefer to say large. I prefer. To, I know okay, it's not sure. different. Well, I'm I just sorry like to it offend more. you. I'm no, sorry. It to... wasn't offensive. I just think large is a fun or more fun word. That is fun to say. Yeah, large. large, large, large. large yeah, right? so it's like you're a pirate yeah. in the middle of it. Yeah, and large. big is just like big. Yeah, exactly. Fat, big fat. You know, large. It's like a one syllable mm -hmm. word that feels like there's yeah, more got syllables. It. Got yeah. it. Um, sure. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Let's see. I want to plug. Go check out our recent South by Southwest shows. Uh, you can check those out on the Howl app. Uh, those were really fun. We had Jess McKenna on both of them, and intern Gino was there, and Nick Kroll, and uh, Seth Morris. They were all out at South, South by Southwest. Those are all up right now. And uh, got some big news coming up for a, a live show coming up. I don't want to say it right now, but uh, pretty soon we'll be announcing a, a very cool live show. So uh, check out, actually, uh, next week's show for that announcement. And uh, Curtis, what do you want to plug here? Yeah, I got some. Uh, I do I actually have one vendor for my book uh it's a bait and tackle shop in christopher uh they gave me a little bit of shelf space next to how much the buying space? of sausages <laughs> uh, so i'm gonna get uh i actually get a lot of pretty a good bit of space yeah so i gotta come up with uh about four by six four by six is with the of dimensions books. of the book yeah yeah um so i'm gonna if you go to That's a small book four by six inches <laughs> isn't it I think so. No, I got four by six feet oh, okay. of space. That's a, now, that's a lot of books. That's a lot have. of books I got to make. They don't so. all have to be different. That's a, a little tip for a writer. Oh, you're saying I make one and then copy it and, it and and repeat it yeah, and exactly. send out a lot of copies? Well, that'll make things easier for sure. <laughs> sure will. <laughs> all right, let's close up the old plug bag. I'm talking about bags and bags. I'm talking about bags, opening bags. 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 I'm talking about bags and bags. I'm talking about opening bags. I'm talking about bags and bags. I'm talking about opening bags. I'm talking about bags and bags. I'm talking about bags and bags. I'm talking about bags and bags. All right, guys. Uh, I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, Jane and Kate and Paul, thank you, thank you so much. A pleasure to have you guys on for the first time. I hope you'll return, and good luck with the show. I hope uh, I'm going to be looking at Deadline, Variety, Hollywood Reporter every single day, checking to see about this second season. Uh -huh. Yeah. Great. <laughs> and I, I hope that I'm the first person you'll call when you get the news. Yes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> okay, good. And uh, Wanda, so great to meet you, of course. Yeah, oh, great to meet you, Scott. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I hope uh, you're you and your husband are still alive in the space of another three months or oh, so. I hope so, too. Here's hoping. <laughs> and that goes for all my yeah. guests, by the way. Curtis, as well as you, I hope you're alive. Yeah, I have. I, I, I hope the baby's alive, honey. I know, yeah. I know. I think he's in good hands. CPS, they take pretty good if care. If he's not, you could. I'll it's, give you an address. CPS, by the way, is not a CVS. What? <laughs> but I bought I bought toilet paper there. Okay, yeah. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye. This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. <laughs>